three points. For the Cats, it was their first loss in five matches, and it sends them plunging to ninth spot. You could have sworn the finals had come early at the MCG, and it was Geelong who looked most at home at first. But Shaw and Collingwood were stunned into action. Buckley rose to the occasion with two excellent goals. The Magpies up by four points at quarter time. McGuan at his MCG best. Beats a man and kicks another one. And Collingwood had the momentum in the second term with the opening three goals. Ablett's bad run of form was continuing. And Stephen O'Reilly went down with a hamstring injury to leave the Cats in trouble. Kelly had been on top of Brownless, but Billy suddenly got his team moving. With Hocking as magnificent as ever, Brownless booted two goals to leave the difference just eight points at the main break. The third quarter was a ripper, Riccardi and Ablett combining to give the Cats the lead. There was plenty of feeling from both sides. The Magpies seemed to be standing up best. They looked in control and could perhaps have kicked more than three goals. And they had to counter the return to form of Ablett, who booted three of his own, the difference just one point at the last break. The final quarter was magnificent as first Geelong a snap by Tudor, a goal. and then Collingwood went ahead. Nearly marks. Get oh. There was rarely more than a goal in it. Mensch put the cats up. But Buckley's set shot gave Collingwood back the lead. And that's the way it stayed until the siren rang with the ball deep in the cats' attack. The final margin, just three points. Anthony Hudson, 10 News.